Hi everybody, I'm Jamie from Somerset Web Design and this is a simple tutorial for beginners uh, on editing a page using the Avada theme in WordPress. I'm currently editing the customer services page on my website using the Avada theme within the WordPress system. The Fusion Builder is part of the Avada theme and allows us to edit the pages easily using this boxed format. This page structure has a two column layout. The column on the left takes up half the page and has a text block within it or a text element. The column on the right also takes up half the page as you can see and contains an image. Those two columns are both contained within the container which is a block that surrounds both columns. It is important to understand the terminology that is used for creating a page structure. The outside container with the blue background contains the columns that are used to build a page. Within the columns you are the elements. The elements consist of text blocks, images, videos and many more. When you click on a element you get the option of selecting numerous elements that do various things and we'll look at those in a later video. In this scenario we have a container which contains two columns. Each column is a half a page wide as stated in the corner of the column. The page width is considered to be a whole so therefore we need to make the columns add up to a whole so we could have two halves, two columns that are half a page width each or we could have three columns which are a third of a page each. So let's try adding another column and changing these to be a third of a page rather than half a page. So by clicking on the number in the left corner, we get the option of changing the width of the column to one third. And then the column to the right, we can also change that to one third. Now we're missing a column. So what we could do is we could clone this current box by clicking on the clone icon. When you hover over the clone icon, it does label the icon. Click on that once and we get and it duplicates the column content. We now have the option of either moving the columns into a different order. We could we could move the text block into the middle by simply dragging it click on an area where to the right of the icons or away from the icons and or we could just move the elements within the containers so we could click on the image here and drag it to the first column under the existing image we can clone containers columns and elements so if we wanted to duplicate this entire container below, we could simply click on the clone button on the container and that would duplicate this whole section below. And then we can adjust the width of each of these columns to our new preferred layout. I could make this one third at the bottom, stretch right across the page full width. You may wish to add a new container rather than cloning an existing container. To do this, simply hover over an existing container and click the container button which pops up in the bottom right. And you will be presented with a, a number of predefined templates. Simply select the template that best suits your content. In this case, I'm going to click on the quarter page template 
This quarter page template gives me the option of four boxes in a row, all equal sizes, and I can now select elements for each box. You can leave some boxes blank just for layout purposes. Just remember the golden rule, once you finish editing, always scroll to the top of the page under the publish box and click the blue update button. So that's it. You now know how to edit a page layout using the Avada theme in WordPress. Have a play and don't worry about making mistakes. You can always reload the page and start again or use a revision option in the publish box in the top right of the screen to return to an earlier version of the page. Subscribe now below to view more videos. All the best from Jamie at Somerset Web Design.